Abdullah Öcalan, the jailed leader of Kurdish rebel group the PKK, is to make what is being called a historic call for peace with the Turkish government. Öcalan is expected to reveal his proposals later on Thursday, which could include a ceasefire declaration and a timetable for a stand-down of PKK fighters. Some, like this Kurdish resident of Istanbul, feel this is long overdue. We're like brothers. This one is a Kurd, this one is a Turk. There's no such thing. I've been living in Istanbul for years, and nobody's ever said to me, you're a Kurd. We don't have a problem, but because of this terrorism issue, our villages are now empty, and if there's peace, we'll all be happy. Turkish officials have recently been holding talks with Erjelan, who's serving a life sentence for insurgency. Commentators say both sides are finally seeing reason after almost 30 years of bloody conflict. One is the realization that you can't win. It doesn't mean you, you've lost, but you can't win, and this goes for both sides. The conflict between the autonomy-seeking Kurds and the Turkish authorities has cost tens of thousands of lives since it first began in 1984.